Today I got a lengthy question and this question asked in GATE 2016 for can you believe my dear this question has been asked for 4 marks and uh, me as well as you know what is the I mean what is the weightage of uh, solving question with uh, having 4 marks right so let's go for it alright so this is a question of part network so basically for solving this question you need to know what is network diagram and how to solve how to uh, prepare a network diagram according to the question well, in this question we are having two questions to solve one question two marks and two questions equal four marks you know that so let's go for the network diagram diagram all right so i don't have that much uh, space here that's why i can prepare the diagram in other somewhere in rough space but yes i have some space here so i can prepare the diagram probably uh, here yeah here would be much better right or I can draw it here also right so basically what is predictions so we have starting point is a now a is having two tasks b and c right the arrows would be like this in case of part diagram now let me use another pen all right so now what is happening here a is having two now b is having one b is having only one that is d okay now b c is having two and b c both are making only one thing that is e all right so these are all activities going on here and d e equals f d and e both are giving f this is the network diagram for this question simple you can easily grab it now this is this is not our motto because it's a simple i mean if any question is asking gate for four marks then you need to you need to go in depth of the question i mean you need to have in depth or very good knowledge about that topic so basically they have touched all points or part in this question if you solve this question, you can understand what is part exactly. Yes, they have used these terms also. Expected time, variance. And they have asked question also here, standard deviation. Deviation as well as expected completion time. I mean, TE, they also have asked this question. So, A, in A activity, they are spending how much time? Let me use another pen, 30 days. B activity, 40 days. C activity, 60 days d activity 25 days and e activity 25 days f activity they are spending okay so b c e e activity is 45 days uh, d activity is 25 days okay f activities they are spending 20 all right so 30 40 25 20 and then 30 60 45 okay so now what we have to do we have to find out the path which is taking maximum number of days the path we are having number of paths here so path one is here from here to here and here and another thing we cannot go backward we have to go forward always remember that forward okay we have to follow we have to follow the arrows we have given in this question that is important all right so from here to here we are giving arrows so we, okay so 30 plus 40 100 100 plus 25 how much 125 125 145 if we we'll go this way we are only will take 145 days but remember my dear we have to consider maximum number of days in which path we are taking i mean which path is taking maximum number number of days we have to consider that okay now next if we'll go from here to here how much 70 70 plus 45 uh, 115 115 plus 20 125 again again we are missing right again it's 125 that means less than so there is no requirement to consider that uh, that path i must say another path is here 30 plus 60 how much 30 plus 60 90 90 plus 45 135 and then 25 how much one 55 so this is the path which is taking maximum number of days to complete so we will take that only this is also known as critical path if you have heard about cpm critical path method and then probably you know about it critical path all right so here a c e 
f this is our critical part all right so let's go for the first question the question is asking here the expected completion time of the project is and this is here we have given expected task time so the completion time should be maximum so here we got a option here only one option 155 days if you mark the right answer you are going to get two marks well i am making you understand that's why it took right now only 5 minutes and 29 seconds if you will understand properly then you can mark the right answer within 2 or 3 minutes it will not take it will not take 2 or 3 minutes all right so basically my aim is to make you understand the basic concept then once you will practice the problem then you can easily solve the uh, uh, solve the question in very less time with maintaining accuracy because accuracy matter all right so let, let's go for the next question standard deviation of the critical path of the project all right so we got it got some information here we got some information here that is critical path is a c e and f so we if we go through this path then we are getting critical path are you getting me a c e f now see the numbers a c e f no maybe you thinking why i am why i am marking all these numbers because here we got the answer for the next question second question we have clue over here yes my dear probably you don't know let me share with you actually variance and standard deviation having relation that is variance is equal to standard deviation square sd in short and sigma is denoted for the sigma is the denotion for the standard deviation so we have we are having we are we have given variance so total variance would be 25 plus 81 plus 36 plus 9 is equal to how much uh is equal to 151 days so total variance is equal to how much 151 days now let's go to the question my dear what we have asked here we have to find out standard deviation of the critical path of the project is are you getting my dear so how you can find out quite easy because we know sigma is equal to root under variance and we are having the value for variance is 151 so the right answer for this question is a all right so to solve this question it took only 8 minutes shortly and to make you understand also now think of yourself how you can solve this question in the examination if you will get 4 marks easy you can do it quite easily don't need to uh do I need to hesitate to solve this question while solving in the examination i hope you can solve it without hesitation in the examination and i hope also you understand the concept i have used to solve this question thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye